This video is a brief overview of some of the features of the online uh, homework through Math Excel. Um, and I just want to do a quick demonstration of a few of them here, particularly uh, the menu over here on the right kind of show you how some of these tools work to help you answer the questions. Uh, I've logged into chapter two here. You can see on the top left, I'm in section 2.1. There's only a couple problems here assigned. Um, yours may not look exactly like this one because these problems are algorithmically generated. So um, they'll be very similar to this, but the numbers or the specific description might be slightly different. So let's just kind of go through the different buttons here one by one and kind of showing how they work. So the first one is help me solve this. Uh, this is a very good button, but also a very dangerous button. Uh, what it's going to do, uh, we'll click on this to help me solve this. And as it loads, first of all, I'll make a little note here. You'll see that because we asked for help on this particular problem, it's marked as wrong. Doesn't mean we can't ever get it right. We'll have to look at a different problem to get credit for it. But because we used the help to get this particular one, we can't get credit for this one. But what this will do is this will show us step by step leading us through this problem. We continue, it'll say, okay, what's step one? And then you do that, and then you check, and then you do step two, and then you check and do step three, etc. So the downside of that, though, is you you have to be a little bit careful. Most before I forget, um, you'll notice these numbers here: 446, 303. When I close to help me solve this, it gives me a new problem. Slightly different answers. Well, very different numbers actually this time. So it's the help me solve this can be helpful because it shows you how to do this particular problem even if it doesn't give you the exact answer because you have to do that again. The danger I've heard from students in the past is that it can be tempting to do this every time and you never really learn how to do a problem on your own. So just be careful of that. Make sure you're able to do these problems on your own. That's what's going to happen on the test. All right, the next thing here, view an example. This one does not take points away. What it does is it gives you a very similar example, but different numbers, and shows you how to do it step by step. And you just continue through the steps, and it shows you exactly how to do this particular uh, example. But it, you don't lose credit for the one you're working on because the numbers are different. Most examples have, or most uh, homework problems have an example just like it. Not everyone, though. Uh, everyone does have the textbook. You can click on the textbook. And this will open a little bit bigger window here, but uh, this will be a digital version of the textbook. Now, it isn't the full textbook. It's just the particular section that we're working on. So if you want to go to a particular section, say, later in the textbook, you have to go back to that homework section and then open up the textbook through Math Excel. But you can page through here. You can print a couple pages if you want. Um, but you can't print the full text. It would just be the three pages or so, four pages that this particular section is about. So I am going to close this. Uh, one that's missing here, there's a video button. I think example two has that. If we click on number two, there we go. There's a video. Um, I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear the audio. It comes through my headset, but it doesn't always get recorded. So whoop. That always comes up with this error. I just dismiss it. But this will be the author giving a little video about this particular section. It's loading. Sometimes the videos are pretty big files and they can take a while to load. So I can hear him talking here, but I think I've recorded this before and it doesn't get recorded on the video. So I'm just going to stop this. But um, it kind of he gives a summary of the section and then he also gives um, how to do this particular example and he has a much nicer backdrop than I do that's fancy okay uh, next stat crunch we'll be using this a lot this semester this is the statistical tool uh, you don't really need an introduction into that that's a different video but if you click on that button it opens up the stat crunch window if you're just doing some basic calculations there is a basic calculator here just like it add subtracting wave if you're doing anything more complicated than that you want to use the stat crunch uh, the ask my instructor is a great tool what this does is it opens up an email window which will send an email to my email address here dkernler5988 very fancy um, and what this does is this emails sends an email to me and links the particular question you're looking at and you can just do a quick sentence about what it is that's confusing you 
Uh, and this is a nice source for you, so you don't have to send me an email and say, okay, you know, I wasn't sure about how to do this, and I'm trying to understand what you're asking. Uh, it links me back to the particular problem you are looking at. Uh, all right, we'll cancel there. Uh, the last button is the print button. Um, you can print a, a whole uh, um, homework set. And the nice thing about that is it gives you uh, the opportunity to go work on the homework on paper, just uh, go out to coffee or whatever and work on it without um, having to be sitting at a computer the whole time. And the benefit of printing it is they're not; it won't be algorithmically different the next time you come back. So, um, you know, we talked about them being al algorithmically generated before, but if you print, it saves the problem as is uh, and lets you work on it and come back and enter in the answer later. So I think that is about it. We've hit all of the main components here for the online homework, and hopefully that will get you off on the right, uh, right foot getting started doing your homework through Math Excel.